my recommendation is you carry these items every single day. All right, item number one, flashlight. This is the Nightcore EDC 27. Great light, slim profile, easy to carry it and comfortable to carry it in a pair of jeans, a pair of shorts, whatever it might be. Having a flashlight is awesome because at night, obviously it's gonna give you light so you can see more effectively, but even during the day, you drop something behind your dresser, behind uh, your desk at work, maybe under your car seat. Now you've got a light to actually locate it. And this is actually a great self-defense tool. A nice amount of light in somebody's eyes, even in the middle of the day, and they can't see and you can get away. It gives you some distance. So EDC 27, I like. This is a new one for me. This is the MarTech Mini LEP Cosmos. Solid little light, has a low output, a high output, and then it's got a strobe, so strobe warning here. There's that, obviously very compact. This runs off a 14500, so about the size of a um, uh, double A, yeah, double A. And then this is a new Arcfeld from Olight. Let me bring this back here a little bit. Arcfeld from Olight, this has got the UV option and see if you can see, there's the UV and then it's got a normal light as well. And you can go through the different settings. Again, slim profile, that's kind of a thing I'm into these days. Um, I do like that look too. That's kind of that like tiger claw, something, I don't know. It's got that real red slashes on it. I think that's kind of cool. So solid EDC light is a great option. It's one item that I would just say carry with you every single day. Second item is kind of like a two for one. It's a pen and something to write on. So this is the Atomic Bear Stealth Pen. Just got this from them. It does have, obviously it's got a writing implement because it's a pen. Um, it's got kind of an aggressive tip here and a nice flat end, which again is a self-defense tool pop. You could let somebody know, hey, I want some distance from you. This is a uh, nice and lightweight as well, which is cool. Um, I've also used the Gerber Impromptu, which is notably heavier. It does come with a, uh, a glass breaker built in at the tip there. That's a nice pen. Want something smaller? This is some Travax, but this is a, um, a right in the rain pen one of their bullet pens, so obviously very compact, but it does come with a, uh, a pocket clip, which is nice. This is a larger right in the rain pen, and it's got, it looks like an eraser at the end, but it's got a, um, it's, got, it's a stylus, so you can write on, you know, or not write on, but use it on like something like an iPad. And bottom line, if you're like, I don't wanna invest a lot of money in a pen, just carry a basic pen to jot notes. You gotta leave a note for somebody, now you got a pen to do it. Um, I heard a guy the other day say, what if you're out in the woods and you need some tinder? Well, now you've got your writing implement that you're writing on. So my two standards are field notes or something like writing the rain pads that are uh, water resistant and they're more durable than your average little notebook. I do think like a moleskin can be fine. Even one of those spiral bound ones you can get for like 59 cents at your local drugstore. Something to write on is just helpful. You, you'd be surprised when you have it in your back pocket, how often you use it. So for me, it's often throw one of these in my back pocket, throw one of these either in my bag or in my side pocket, sometimes even in a chest pocket, or I've got a sleeve that's got some options to put pens there. But having a good pen, that's item number two. Third item, you probably guessed it, it's having a good EDC knife. I'm gonna do a separate video that's in the works on how to choose an everyday carry knife, but carrying a knife is just a great option. It becomes a useful tool for you, whether you're outdoors or indoors. If we're honest, most of us are using knives for cutting open envelopes, boxes, things like that, maybe cutting some jute twine or something every now and again. Um, but it's good to have a simple tool like this on you. This is the uh, Kaiser Mercury, I believe this one is. Really cool, kind of gentleman style. Maybe you want something small but functional. This is the uh, the mini banter. from. This is from Civivi and designed by my friend Ben from uh, nafs.com. This is the full size banter, just to show you. Maybe you want something a little bit larger. Um, it's not huge, a huge difference as far as the blade length, but it is a beefier knife. And this is also an S35VN, I believe. Let me double check here. Yep, S35VN. So carrying a knife is great. You can use it in a variety of ways. Some people are like, well, for self-defense, last, last ditch for self-defense, I would say. I heard a quote the other day, when you have two people getting a knife fight, one of the guys dies there and the other guy dies in the ambulance. So. I just highly encourage you, don't expect to be using a knife for self-defense in most situations, 99.9% .9 of the situations. Maybe you want a knife that's a little bit more broadly functional. You can get something like this. This is one of my first knives ever. A Victorinox, basically a Swiss Army, Swiss Army knife. You have multiple blades. You'll have a uh, you know, screwdriver, flathead, Phillips head, can opener. Nice to have a bunch of tools. 
The downside of these for a lot of people is that they don't have a pocket clip, but you can throw it into your pocket relatively easily. So there's item number three, carry a knife. Item number four, let me reach over here and get it. Item number four is this, carry some sort of bandana. Now, if you carry it in a pocket, you can carry it in a bag, whatever it is. This one is blaze orange. It's definitely kind of more built for, well, my outfit, but also for being out in the woods. It's a little bit bigger than maybe your average bandana. So you could use it for signaling, but I carry a Shamog scarf in my bag all the time because like I can use it to collect things. I can use it to sit on. If I'm sitting on a hard chair, I'm like, I'm gonna bust this thing out and make it more comfortable. I gave it to one of my coworkers one time because she was so cold. It was like a little shawl for her, but there's a kind of an overkill as far as your brightness. You can carry just a standard bandana. I mean, again, use it to wipe sweat, wipe your nose, whatever it is. Here's a cool one from Wazoo Survival Gear, about the size of a normal bandana, but um, this is one of their tracking bandanas, so it's got all kinds of footprints on it, which is cool. And here's another one from Wazoo. This is their um, edible and medicinal plants. It's like their foraging one. So I think it's just great. It's lightweight. Again, tons of different uses for a bandana, so good to have something simple like that as part of your everyday carry system. Item number five is medical gear. Now this is on the high end of things as far as kind of intensity to carry a tourniquet with you at all times. Um, I do keep a good tourniquet like this in my EDC bag. Uh, a lot of people are not gonna carry this on their actual person, but if you're out at the range, you're out in the woods, having a tourniquet on you is a great move. In my everyday carry bag, I carry this as a med kit. So as you can see, I've got some Band-Aids here. You can hear I've got some Advil, Tylenol, um, there's a little wound care kit in here, but even if you just throw a couple band-aids in your wallet, that's great to have in case you or somebody else gets cut. So I always recommend having some sort of med kit with you every single day. Here's another little medical item. This is liquid skin. So basically if you get a cut, you can actually glue your skin closed. So another cool little item, very small that you can bring with you every single day. Item number six is a water bottle of some sort. So hydrate or die, that's the phrase and it's true. So this is a 32 ounce Nalgene, very rugged. It stands out as far as the color. So if somebody else snags this and tries to walk away with it, I could be like, ah, actually no, that's mine. So you can carry a 32 ounce. I have a smaller one here from um, Helicon. This is a 20 ounce, a little bit more manageable, uh, but depending on how much water you drink during the day, you want, might want something a little bit larger. I've got a metal one here as well. This is from uh, Dave Canterbury's Pathfinder School. Um, cool thing about this is you can actually, since it's single walled, you can put this into a fire. In everyday life, you're probably not gonna have to do that, but you know, a metal water bottle, water bottle can be just as good as a Nalgene one. And then if you wanna really take it to another level, I've got a, uh, a grail here. So this is one of the ones that you, if you've never used these before, I'll show you how it works real quick. You take this out, scoop water out from, you know, the stream or whatever, open this up so it's got a little air, press it down, it filters the water, now you can drink it. So probably not gonna need to filter your average water you're getting from a water fountain or from the, the uh, water dispenser at work, but having a water bottle for me, everyday carry item, absolutely. Number eight carry some sort of tools with you. Let me show you a couple different options. This looks like a pen, but actually it's a bit driver. It's got a Phillips head. It's got a flat head. If you flip this around, I got this for like maybe two or $3, super cheap. And uh, yeah, you can, I mean, you can carry it like a pen obviously, but to have a screwdriver, it's really nice. Just during the day, if something comes up, you've got a tool to use. Um, I don't think they make these anymore. This is the Leatherman Squirt PS4, but this is a great little multi-tool. You can keep it on your keychain. Pliers are highly underrated. I was watching a video of a guy who was a SEER instructor in the past, and he was saying how pliers are just a great, great tool to have. This also has a couple blades on it. It's got some um, some drivers or some you know screwdrivers. It's got a, I think it's a file here on this side. Yep, we got a file on this side as well. So. Great to have a little tool set with you. A couple other options if you want to carry something bigger. This is the Skeletool tool from Leatherman, so definitely a larger one. Lighter than some of the other um, Leatherman options out there, but it is still heavier than carrying something small like I just showed you. Now this is a new one I got. It's the Flex Tool from Flex Tail, and it's got a blade on it. It's got drivers on it. You can see the little blade right there. It's got drivers on it. It's got a carabiner on it. Cool little item. Um, yeah, I just think this is, it's it's got a pulley on it, something very compact like this, throw it in your pocket, and now you've got more than just your knife when it comes to tools. This last one is, 
it's definitely heavy. It's got some weight to it. This is called the Fix-It Sticks, and it's basically a way to have a full-fledged driver system. You take one of these guys out. You got the, uh, you can see the bit that's already there in the end. Take the other one out, put these together like so. And now with that Phillips head, I can really crank down on something. And then I've got all the extra drivers right there. So definitely heavier than, you know, maybe what most people want to carry, but throw this into a bag. I just think having some sort of tool is great. Even if you have just something as simple as a pry bar in your system, that could be great while you're uh, just living life every single day. Three more to do in our top 10 list, but I've got some honorable mentions. Number one is Paracord. This is very bright, and I think it might even be glow-in-the-dark Paracord from County Com. So just having some Paracord with you, lots of different uses for that. Another honorable mention is some sort of utensil. I think a spork or a foon, a foon? A spork or a fork or a spoon, something like that. I don't know if you ever got into a situation where you're like, I'm trying to eat something, but I don't have the utensil to do it. This is like a really lightweight titanium one. So that's an honorable mention. Some sort of battery pack to charge up your phone. There's another honorable mention. And then two more. This is kind of an obvious one, but if you're going somewhere, you got to have your car keys. So definitely don't forget those. And then last but not least is a lighter, Bic lighter. Bic lighter, there's a smaller one. And then this is one from uh, from Theorem. Be aware if you're using one that has, that you gotta basically refill, that it is filled before you take it out so that it's not a dead lighter. But there's five honorable mentions for you. Back to our top 10 items, your phone. This is definitely an everyday carry item for most people. So to communicate with folks, whether it's phone calls, texts, looking things up on the internet, um, using your GPS, uh, buying something online. There's so many different uses for your phone. And I would encourage you hop online and Google best survival apps. There's a lot of good apps out there that will just help you be more effective in everyday life. And certainly if you get out into a survival situation. So phone, definitely a top 10 item. Similar to that is a good wallet. I've used a lot of different wallets over the years, but this one is the one I keep coming back to. It's from Bankquest. It holds all my cards. I'll definitely tell you, I'm someone who carries quite a few cards during the day. So with that said, I would, if you carry a lot of cards, this wallet is great. It's RFID blocking. I probably got 25, maybe 20 cards in here between debit cards, credit cards, like a target card, business cards. I've got a couple survival items in here as well. Um, yeah, it's just, you gotta have your wallet with you. The front pocket wallets, the little thin ones, they're okay for me. It's just that I carry so many cards that it, it's just not effective for me. So having a good wallet, um, yeah, encourage you to do that. And if you invest in one and find one that you like, it's one of those things where you're like, ah, I'm just gonna keep using that for a long, long time. Like once you find a wallet that you're like, this one's a winner, it's probably gonna be a winner for years and years and years. Now this last one I feel like is very underrated. Like I see a lot of people carrying water bottles. So they're like, yeah, that makes sense, carry a water bottle. But I feel like a lot of people forget to carry food of some sort. So I just highly encourage you every single day, carry some food with you. These are Kind Bars. Carry a granola bar, carry a cliff bar, carry a protein bar, something that um, it's not gonna get destroyed if it gets, you know, if it's in your front pocket and you sit down, but it gives you some nourishment during the day. I'll never forget hiking one time with a friend and I was like, no, let's just keep pushing through, let's just push through. And he was like, let's just take a break. We stopped, we took a break, got some water, got some food. And I was like, oh, I feel so much better. I'm enjoying the trip more. And that could be true in any day, everyday life too. Like, um, you know, people get hangry. So having some food with you, that's a great everyday carry item as well. Now, if you wanna learn more about everyday carry and how I think about it, check out the intro to everyday carry. The video is right here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in that video.